Dear Christopher, here is your friend, Thomas the Tank Engine. He wanted to come out of his station yard and see the world. These stories tell you how he did it. I hope you will like them, because you helped me to make them your loving daddy. The island of Sodor is surrounded by beautiful blue seas Fields of green and sandy yellow beaches too The island also has loads of trains and railway lines But who's that? Just puffing round the track It's a tank engine that in his name Thomas He welcomes you to me Friends working together to make anything just work Cause when an obstacle comes along A train wreck makes it worthless When friendship and teamwork is on your side Nothing's impossible with Thomas and his friends Today, on the island of Sodor, we will take a closer look at Titmith Sheds, the home of Thomas and his friends. Then, we'll sway in our seats to a jazzy new song about the railway. But first, a film crew is coming to Sodor. Or is it? Henry the Green Engine and Gordon the Big Engine have both worked on the Northwestern Railway for a long time. Not only were they two of the railway's first engines to arrive, they are two of the fastest and strongest engines on the railway. The only other engine at Tinnit that is as big and as strong as them is Rebecca. Just like Gordon and Henry, she pulls the express, local mainline trains, and long goods trains. But because she's only just recently been built and arrived on Sodor, she hasn't been in steam and worked on the railway for very long. But she made great friends with the steam team, admired all their friends, and always sees the best in everyone. But there were still some things that Rebecca would like to do. It was another peaceful morning on the island of Sodor. Rebecca, the yellow engine, was taking on coal at the shunting yard while her driver was looking at a video on his phone. Well, it looks like Duchess has made it into the top 10 this week. Top 10? About what? Railway Vision Top 10 is an online monthly countdown to showcase the best engines around the world, whether it's their looks or how useful they are. Well, Duchess did great to make it into the top 10. Why don't you enter, Rebecca? You're hardworking and you're just as beautiful as Duchess any day. Oh, Percy, that's so sweet. You know what? I'll do it. I'll make my railway vision debut. No one noticed that James was resting nearby and had heard everything. Hmm. An online movie, eh? Well, bust my buffers! They're making a movie on Sodor! I'll be perfect for the spotlight, even if it is for Netflix that Mike Schleiver told me about. I can picture my role already! In a world where 
Lord James the Red Engine will be getting his very own movie. Hey, I'm in a movie trailer. Yay, what is it? What's the movie gonna be? James Bud. James Bud? You mean like... Like Air Bud, yes. James Bud is a story of the basketball player engine who knocks basketballs into the hoop using his face and body! What? Hey, ow! Hey, stop it! Ow! Make it stop! I don't want to be in this movie anymore! Ow! 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 ow, ow. James Bud, may the fourth be in your face! Ha! 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 James, you've knocked my trucks over of basketballs. Oh, well that explains the basketballs flying about. Oh. Online movie madness. Soon, Henry and John got James back on the rails. What were you thinking, James? Didn't you know you should always look where you're going? Have you been showing off again? No, I was thinking. I've heard that they're making an online movie on Sodor, and I'm going to show that I'm great for the part. If it's online, I'll go viral. Oh, so no film festival this time, eh? Emily told us about the last time you tried to win the film festival a few years ago. No! Besides, anything's better than being pushed aside by the fat controller again for one of its nut shots. I still don't get why he won in the first place. Maybe viewers think you're not as funny as him. <laughs> Shut up, Diesel. Anyway, I got to find some action for me to do so I could get the approval from the director. Unlike you, Henry. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, come on, Henry. You always prefer peace and quiet. I don't like things that are fun. You're obviously boring in every way. I'm not boring. I just like doing what I know. That'll be why the director won't pick you for the film anyway. Otherwise, you won't miss out on some of our adventures over the years. What a shame you're not a smart and splendid acting engine like me. This made Henry cross. Take no notice, Henry. I think you're a good engine. I admire your strength. Thank you, Joseph. Though, I was thinking of doing a video too to show James that I'm not boring for anything. Well, I have been a TV star once before I came to Sodor. Maybe I can help. Yeah, I'd like to help too. Well, alright. I'll make my video debut too. I'll show James that I'm not boring. Later that day, Henry, Philip and Joseph got together to help with Henry's video though they were struggling for ideas. No, no, can't! Henry, you need more energy, and your voice keeps getting softer and quieter. I told you, Philip, I'm not very good at this sort of thing. I'm like Edward in this subject. Oh. Hey, I've got an idea. What about doing a music video? We can just film Henry doing his usual jobs, and we can get a band or someone to play a suitable song for it. I like the sound of that. Yeah, that might work. You know, Henry, I know a friend who used to perform in a school band, and now his band is pretty popular around Sodor. The Conductorinos. I could give him a call and see if they can help too. The Conductorinos? You mean the biggest band this side of the Irish Sea? That's right. That would be a fantastic opportunity to get exposure, Henry. I'd say we should go for it. Worth a try. That would be great. Now I'll make my video debut after all. Say, Joseph, how come you're not on TV anymore? Uh, Philip, I'm not sure Joseph wants to talk about that. Thomas told me about this. No, it's fine, Henry. A young gun deserves the answer. Well, a long time ago, before I came to Sodor, I was shunting coaches ready for a scene when I decided to play a trick on my fellow engine stars by shooting past them like an express train. 
Express coming through. <laughs> but what they didn't know is that I have a fear of bees. And at that moment, one swooped right in front of me. Ah! Bee! Get it off me! Get it off me! Oh no, what have I done? Joseph! You better pray my insurance can cover this. And that's how I got booted off my TV show. And ironically, that was also on the same day my boss got punched in the face as by an actor who was also booted out. What happened to the bee? What a stupid question, Philip. That's not important. I can see why Thomas kept it quiet when you two first met years ago. But when we started filming, I'll make sure to make up for your mistake to Joseph. Thanks, Henry. So, for the rest of the day and night, during the Flying Kipper run, Henry, Joseph, and Philip carried on filming footage for Henry's music video. <laughs> The island of Sodor is a wonderful place. Thomas enjoys puffing all over the island. There are lots of special places to visit. Where are we going today? That's right, it's Tidmouth Sheds! Tidmouth Sheds is a very special place for the Steam Team. This is their home. Every day, the Fat Controller comes here to give the engines their jobs for the day, as part of the morning briefing. The engines would leave their sheds and return again at night after a busy day being really useful. Tidmouth Sheds is also a place where engines tell stories. One autumn night, Thomas, Percy, and Lightning were alone at the sheds. Percy asked Lightning whatever happened to Doc Hudson, as he hadn't been seen for years. Lightning felt nervous. He had been keeping it a secret for a long time, and keeping it quiet had been very hard. But as the tank engines were so curious, he decided it's time they know the truth. He told them a story about what happened when he and Doc were training for the Piston Cup. Lightning couldn't help notice how Doc's engine had started acting up, and he secretly knew that Doc's not going to live for long, and that he passed on. That was why he kept it quiet for so long. He didn't want the engines to be upset. It didn't seem right. Thomas and Percy were sad at first, but they also told Lightning he didn't need to keep Doc's death a secret for seven years, because even if they were sad, it shows how much they cared for Doc, and that it's okay to express their emotions too. Lightning felt much better after the engines kind supporting words, and when the bigger engines heard the story later that night, everyone whistled in memory of Doc Hudson. The sheds are also a place where surprises were shared. One day, Thomas and Percy heard about the Controller of the Year award coming up. Thomas decided to enter the back controller for the award. He told the engines his plan, and all their crews signed their signatures onto the letter for the judges. Percy then took the letter for the judges in his mail train that evening. Tom Tipper arrived to give the Fat Controller the letter, which tells him that he's Controller of the Year. Thomas and the other engines were happy to have the Fat Controller as their Controller of the Year. But for two engines, Tidmouth Sheds were very special to them, and that's Nia and Rebecca. One day, the Fat Controller had announced that Tidmouth Sheds will be going through a makeover and that the engines will have to move out until they were ready. Edward went to sleep at Wellsworth with Philip, Henry at Vickerstown, Gordon and Emily at Knapford, Thomas and Percy at Ellsbridge, 
and James had to stay with Dudley at the agency sheds. James wasn't enjoying his temporary home. Dudley just wanted to talk. It made James cross. A few days later, when the engines arrived at the sheds, they all noticed that they've got ten berths now. The back controller even bought two new engines named Nia and Rebecca, who will be joining them at the sheds and taking two of the new berths. The steam team greeted them warmly and welcomes them to their new home. Both engines felt right at home, straight away, and are happy to be with their new friends. And that's why Tidmouth Sheds are very special for Nia and Rebecca. There are many special places on the island of Sodor. Next time, Thomas will show us somewhere else. Platform and down the track Trucks and coaches back to back Spinning wheels and boilers hot You know that they'll never stop Deliveries cold towels home to take Off down the line they can't be late Round tip my sheds or down to the docks Come on and dance to the railway rocks Come on And hear the sound of all the clattering Clunking thumping trucks Come on And look around for all the bright green Red blue cranes in the yard Puffing clouds up through the air Busy, busy, no time to spare Come on You're gonna have yourself a rumbling, bumbling, tumbling Wonderful time Have a look at our engine friends James up hills and Percy Benz Gordon's Express and Henry's Fish Across the island in a tick Nia, Rebecca, the newest there Emily's advice can't be compared Toby and Edward will carry on And we can't forget our number one Come on! And hear the sound of all the clattering Clunking, thumping trucks Come on! And look around for all the bright green, red, blue cranes in the yard Puffing clouds up through the air Busy, busy, no time to spare Come on! You're gonna have yourself a rumbling, bumbling, tumbling, wonderful time Sunset day goes on Through the dark the night trains will run Percy's post will cross the land Thomas sometimes lends a hand Flying Kipper the railmen call We'll go ahead in the snow or hail One storm breaks and night work ends They know it's back to Tidmouth Shed Come on! And hear the sound of all the clattering Clunking, thumping trucks Come on! And look around for all the bright green, red, blue trains in the yard Puffing clouds up through the air Busy, busy, no time to spare Come on! You're gonna have yourself a rumbling, bumbling, tumbling, wonderful time
James was still trying to think of a way of how to get chosen for the film, but he still didn't know that it was for Railway Vision. Oh, I've got to think up some good action scene for my audition or I'll never get the part in the movie. I even tried that paintball art thing yesterday, but that didn't work. Okay, Francesco, ready? Ah! 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 Oh, my eye! Ah! Heck, even that railway safety video was painful, even though I tried to make it tense. Push the green truck. For God's sake, do not push the red truck. It is imperative to push the green truck. Think about every decision you've made in your life and realize that everyone led up to you pushing the green truck! I'm okay! Train drivers, red and green, learn the different. And that's it. I'm going back to work at McDonald's. Ugh, oh, it was lucky that I was able to be repaired overnight with only paint scratches and burns on my boiler. Oh god, that was painful. Uh, hey Finn, what's that you're working on? Oh, that's a new jet engine from Stevenson's, my private jet. Just had it delivered this morning. It's also rocket powered. A rocket powered jet engine, you say? James suddenly remembered when Thomas once used a jet engine years ago to go faster than Gordon. It also gave him an idea which would help him with his scene. So, does that mean engines can use it on missions too? Of course not! <laughs> Why on earth would an engine use this kind of jet engine for their own? I'll be right back. Okay, if I can't find action, I'll make action! Then, there was trouble. James was reversing so fast that he bumped in the jet engine's flatbed. The spanner hit the button. And the button started the jet engine. The engine began to whir to life. It began to get louder and louder and louder! Oh, son of a... Before James could finish his sentence, the jet engine was locked up the track. Finn came out just in time, just as James rocketed out of sight. Oh dear, it's happened again. I knew I should have collected it myself. Hang on, James. I'm coming. Wow! Whoa! What was that, Mr. Oliver? It looked like James has become supersonic toad. <laughs> Help! Whoa! What was that? Whoa! When did James learn to go that fast as Gordon? He hasn't? I think he's heading for trouble. In Shen Valley, Nia and Rebecca were at the dam getting ready for Rebecca's next scene. How about getting a shot of me going over the dam? Okay, Rebecca. You're ready? And... Action! Rebecca started to puff onto the dam. <gasps> Jack! Help! Get out of my way, quick! I'm out of control! Points! Quick! Switch the points! Oh! Help! I'm going to fall and drown in the water! He'll fall over if he's not careful. Henry, do something! Don't worry, I know exactly what to do. Get me on camera! Hang on, James! I'm coming! Henry quickly coupled up to James and he started to pull him off the edge. Phew! Yay! 
Phew, that was close. Thanks, Henry. And I'm sorry for what I said yesterday. Then, the Fat Controller arrived on Winston. Well, John and Red, that was a fine, heroic piece of work there. Thank you, sir. But how did all this happen? What's been going on here? It's my fault, sir. I'm sorry. I was trying to create an action scene. By using Stevenson's new jet engine, once again without permission, I thought you'd learned from what happened back in 2018. It's clear that he still hadn't. Honestly, James, that could have been much more serious. You were supposed to be learning your lesson from last year. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, I was trying to create a scene so I could audition for an online movie like Rebecca. Oh, I wasn't auditioning to be in a movie, James. I was making a railway vision video so I can be in next week's countdown online. A countdown video? Oh, bother. So that's what you were talking about? You know, Henry, that rescue would make a perfect scene to finish your music video. What video are you working on, Henry? A music video It was to showcase me and my work, so no one can see that I'm boring. You can enter it for the railway vision. I'm sure they'll like to see you on screen. Oh, I never thought of that. Online, eh? Well, I've heard about that show. In that case, once your videos are done, I'll send them to their website and I'll let you know if you made it into next week's Chop 10. And I'm sure your runaway would be perfect on there too, James. <laughs> A few days later, the Fat Controller called the engines to Knapford Station. Well, I've sent all your videos to Railway Vision, and I can safely say all of your videos made it to the top five. James, yours is video number five. <laughs> I'm listening to that straight set. <laughs> you didn't take it out. <laughs> Thomas, stop doing that. It's really annoying. After all that, you are a complete chicken. Stop that! No, I'm not chicken, Thomas. What happened was, the camera broke during the jet engine ride and it only recorded its sound. <laughs> whatever. If anything, yours would have been better off as number 10, James. That was pathetic. Okay, video number 4 is Gordon's video. You made a video, Gordon? Yep. I heard you a lot talking about it, so I thought I'd give it a go too. Okay, here we go. Here I come towards the end of the line. I'm doing 195 miles per hour, 200, 210 miles per hour there, 220, and now I'm at Vickerstown. What? You just lied and then sped up the film? A bit. Well, a lot! <laughs> Video number three is Rebecca's. Wow! I'm number three! Yay, me! Hi, my name is Rebecca. I'm the 22 engine on the Northwestern Railway. I pull the express from one side of the island of Sodor, working with my friend Gordon. I also pull goods trains too, and the trucks don't give me any trouble. My friends all say I spread sunshine and happiness because I'm always the best of everyone in every way. If you see me around, come and say hi. I'll be happy to see you. Wow! That was great, Rebecca. Thanks, Philip. Hey, Gordon, what did you think of it? I think that was wonderful, Rebecca. Really? Yay, me! Okay, the video at number two is Henry's. Oh no. Don't worry, Henry. It's a good thing. 
If it's number two, it means it's second popular. Nice one, Emery. You really are a star after all. Thanks, Joseph. But I think me and Rebecca are joint winners on this one. Really, Henry? Of course. Because if you hadn't told me about Railway Vision Countdown, I wouldn't be up there now. Thanks, Henry. I think you did a great job there too. So, I'm not boring? Of course not. Thanks, Rebecca. But there's one thing I don't get. If Rebecca's video's number three, and mine's number two, who's this week's number one? I am! You entered one, Oliver? Yeah, well, actually, Toad's God did. Ah, you're just in short. Here's your video as this week's number one. Wow! Commentators say, says it was the most action-packed and the funniest thing they have ever seen. It says here that they admire James as the rocket-powered panic engine. <laughs> that was hilarious. The funniest thing I've ever seen. Wow, we've got the most views on this week and 291 hits. Wow, James, you're famous. Oh, I never thought I'd see this. No! Oh dear, poor James. <laughs> What's up with him? I thought he wanted to be in the spotlight. <laughs> you know, Rebecca, it takes a mirror to get a vi into a viral video, and now James wants to get out of him because his accent's on camera. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.